Good morning, man, behind the scenes. Morning, DP. How are you this morning? I'm doing pretty good. Have, well, we, uh, have we slept on this? Have we thought about we this? Have, we have slept on this. You're going to have to you're gonna have to go from the mindset of Boilermaker to pipe fitter. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's going to be a little bit difficult yeah, for you, but yeah. uh, it's, uh, man, yeah. I spent a little time last night scratching my head trying to figure this out. It seems like such a simple concept. We've got to get this pipe from here to there, but unfortunately there's a bunch of mumble jumble in the way. <laughs> yes, there is. All right, let's figure it out. All right, in case you guys missed the last couple of videos, we have built a sweet set of stacks. Set of stacks 2.0, because the first ones didn't work. Yeah. 2.0 seems to be working pretty good. Got them mounted up there, pretty much in, that's pretty much where they're gonna live. That's gonna be their new home right there. We got a few final details to do on how the uh, final mounting is gonna go, but for the most part, that is it. So, the next thing we need to figure out is how to get the exhaust from here to there. The way it used to run was on the outside of this bracket, and if you guys remember, it had the god awfulest 90s and everything you had seen going on. I don't know what the heck going on. <laughs> now, yeah, in their defense, this truck's got a really oddball size exhaust pipe. What is it, four and a half? Yeah. And uh, it's hard to find. And man, I don't like throwing anybody underneath the bus, so I'm not gonna throw anybody underneath the bus. I'm just gonna tell you my experience. We ordered a bunch of stuff off of truckpipesusa.com. Mm -hmm. Not been the most pleasant experience. These are yeah. supposed to be nice USA made band straps, and I don't even know that's even high quality for China, I believe. Part of my order hasn't showed up. Yep. They want to answer the phone or an email. So, you guys get bored and want to go over and harass usatruckpipes.com. Feel free on my expense. I have no issues with that. Ask them where my other 24 inch pieces of pipe are at. <laughs> We've been waiting on those for two weeks. They won't even answer the dang phone call down there. Anyways, I'm off. I'm, I'm, I ran off. over. I ran over. Ran okay. over. Truckpipesusa.com. Now let's wake up on the right side of the bed. All right. <laughs> so the right side of the bed, we got a buddy that works in Evansville, Captain yep. Cleman. So he went and picked up a few parts for us, and I think we can get this thing pieced together. That's what I like to hear. Okay. Rant's over. I'm done. Okay. Truckpipesusa.com. So let's, <laughs> let's. You say I on this. You get this all fit up, and then I'll weld it. How's that? Oh boy. Like All right, it. so hear me out. Hear me out. All you right. ready? I think we need to. I already don't like it. <laughs> I haven't even told you what I'm going to do yet. <laughs> Easy. All right. Oh man, I got grease on my hand. I don't know who greases trucks, but they don't, they're not shy on grease. I think I've wore like, I don't know, two tubes off that thing. <laughs> All right, hear me out. You ready? Yeah. Put a little light on the subject here. The old pipe went up here. Mm -hmm. Stuck out here in the middle of no man's land. If we go up here and go over, we're gonna be, it's just, I don't think it's ever gonna look sexy. I don't like it, yeah. I mean, we gotta have sexy pipes. Yeah. So, what do you think about coming up through here? That's, in my dreams, that's where I was coming up. You're dreaming about this truck? I'm, I'm, I'm concerned. That's getting bad, yeah. I'm concerned about your mental health. Because I didn't point. know if I was gonna trust your idea, so I thought I better have some too. <laughs> that's even <laughs> scarier, we've had the same idea. Okay, so, Truck Pipes USA let me down. Uh, they did have 45s, which is why these are Nelsons. I'll give them credit on those. Um, I guess I probably should have got some 90s too. The reason I ordered this stuff off the internet and then get it picked up from our local store, the local store didn't have 45s. And our local store is like an hour away. Yeah. Um, did I mention the prices were horrifically high as well? No, you didn't. I'm still on my rant, ain't I? Yeah, you are. Not too many people make me mad, but Drugs Pipes USA, Truck Pipes USA, <laughs> they've really aggravated me. And just call me back. Now just call me back and let me know where my pipes are at. You got my money. I got all my money. Yeah. All right. Anyways, maybe the maybe maybe the people on the internet will help me get my money back. All right. The second time. Pipes, right yes. over. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So, uh, I think we need to get. Where did I do? Okay. Where did I do? Go sidetrack because I'm aggravated about truckpipesusa.com. So if we take this elbow and put it like right in here. Does that make sense? Yep. I think we can come up with a 45. It's gonna be a happy medium between the lengths of these two pipes, but I feel like we need to get this mm -hmm. pipe a fixed point first, because we got a fixed point up there, right? Yes. And we need to hit the center of that, but if we're off an inch or two one way or the other, I don't think it's gonna matter. Um, and back to my other thing is we got 
because of this the is, oddball is, pipe. Okay, so Truck Pipes USA did have this in stock. Thank you. <laughs> Nobody else did. They did. So thank you. I'll give them an attaboy on that. There and they go. shipped They're it to me. They're getting a lot of thank yous right now. And, I, and they shipped it to me and I received it. Yes. It's just his yeah. friends got lost somewhere and I don't have them. Anyway, I'm back on my rant again. Anyway. All right, so this here, what it should take us to, the four and a half to five. Five is basically standard. Mm -hmm. pipe. But I think this is going to involve some. Is this is this bowler maker welding or pipe fitter welding? Yeah, let's just let's consider the motor, the engine of this. Let's consider it being a boiler. You're just trying to justify. Got, you're trying to yeah, justify see, I got work. six foot out, and I got I also oh, got first man. weld coming off of it. This would be first weld. So I got first weld. Now so after that, we'll have to call in a pipe fitter to start welding oh, no, the rest of it up. Mr. Uh, Mr. Cursed? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Him. Cursed, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are cursed when he calls, because usually I gotta go back to work. <laughs> so yeah, we could call For Matt. guys that don't know, Aaron's boss on his other real job is a pipe fitter called Mr. Curse. True story. Yeah, yeah. If he bought so, USA truck pipes .com too, I hope he has a very experience yeah. that, man. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we'll just call Matt up and have him come in from here on out. I've heard I've heard story. stories about his welding though. I hear Not very more, good. I better I hear do it. He's more of a threaded guy. Yeah, yeah. He likes them threads. I better. We ain't got no welding. threads here. I'll work for Matt on pipe. We are so far. Yeah, we we gotta. All right. So we, okay. First thing we need. First thing I think we need to do. Come out there. So I think we need to weld this to this. Okay. Because that'll give us the distance on where to cut that pipe. Yep, underneath the cab. All right, I'll switch you. All right. You have fun with that, Mr. Will. You got to wrap around. I mean, if I'm going to do I thought you were, but what'd you tell me a while ago? You said you get a good clean cut. I need a wrap around so I can wrap it, mark it, and cut, and it's true. You tell me in the bowler, stuff don't move. You figure it out. Okay, we can figure it out. You tell me pipe fitters had all those lazy tools. All right. Let's, uh, now we rambled on about absolutely nothing for the last five minutes. Let's get that. Do you want to tag it off or you want to commit to weld it? You know what? Last time we welded something, we had to cut it all back out. So I say let's tag it. Let's tag let's it. Let's tag it and make sure everything works this time. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> right, totally off subject. Yes. Totally off subject. Totally off subject. You want to see a sixth grade science project? <laughs> so. <laughs> this is Macy's. Homemade light bulb that dad possibly helped with a little bit. Yeah, but there's a. I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Should be the coolest sixth grade ever. But check it out. Piece of pencil lead. And it don't work. Oh, Let on. me fix no, it for hold, you. Yeah, Let me fix okay. it for well, you. Well, now you're going to be an electrician. You're yep, working all the right trades here. today, aren't you? Yep. I told her she needed. Now, can you tell them what your trigger came <laughs> I mean, besides the dumpster. <laughs> it came out of the dumpster. <laughs> Nobody in town had a very or a rheostat or a yeah. dimmer switch or whatever you want to yeah. call it. So, luckily, we ran over one of these a while back in the shop, so we decided to use it. But check that out. Whee! Ain't that cool? That is pretty neat. You got it working. All right. So, okay. Now I see why our pipes ain't done. <laughs> yeah, well, I figured I was going to hey, mean everything was cut. Going to be good in there. news. Right, Macy's going to pass science class and. <laughs> You guys can give me crap about this, but she actually did most of it. And she wrote an essay on it and explained how it works. But I about got in trouble. Because I had to explain how male and female space connectors work. Yeah. And that conversation <laughs> went the wrong way. Right. Let me tell you. All right. Back to you. All right. I don't have a wraparound, but I do have this fancy saw right here yes. that'll cut straight. So you're still in good shape. All we've got to do is make sure that's a true 90 so it cuts straight. I'm going to handle that. All right, we had a visitor, so I missed our yeah. fancy cutting. But you want to show the world your uh, your fit up job, Mr. Kirst is going to hire me as a pipe. No, 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 dang it! This no, 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 no. There, there we go. Look at this. Look, look at that. I mean, yeah, we can almost can super glue that up. We can almost super glue that together. Hell, I think Matt Kirst could weld this up. <laughs> I do. He might be able to handle this. <laughs> Okay, well, what you asked for? I hear he's looking for a job too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, I guess let's weld that. that yeah, we'll weld that up. off, and then we'll. I guess what we need to. I guess we'll weld that off. Mark that pipe. Yes. Pull that pipe out. Cut it. We also need to put an index mark on it. My finger's black. Yeah. Uh, put an index mark on it so we know which way to how to clock the elbow. Yeah. All right. Step one: weld pipe.
Think that's gonna work for your spacers? Yep, it will. Like on the job, that's what we usually use to get our space between the tube. It's 332 wire. Really? It won't take much. It gives you just a nice little, nice little gap burn. around there. All right. That's better than most. Most muffler shops don't even do that for you. They butt it up tight and weld it oh, around. Yes. It. Yeah. So. Are you trying to say you need a bonus today? I do. Yeah. I do. Custom exhaust fittings. close <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even catch it <laughs> that would be a little bright I don't think your clear glasses are gonna do much to shield you there no oh, hey. all right you get it right where you want yeah, it. yeah the right this piece is a little bit I'm pretty good around here good there yep still good yep I think so. Custom ex <laughs> We won't look at that. <laughs> Custom exhaust fitting. Hey. You know, didn't that well do it? No, it actually uh, looks pretty good. Well, here's It looks a whole lot problem. better than what was on there before. <laughs> But what I want to show you is the inside. Full pin well, baby. That's what I wanted. Well, you know, that's very and, important on the exhaust system. Yeah, yeah, we want it through and through. And, and, and you, in my defense, I, this pipe fitter work, I shouldn't have to do anything but touch a welder because I'm the welder. Uh, the prep job uh, was outstanding. Was, You're was great on the old piece. On the new piece, I got into that. Uh, Galvanized coating on that, and that welder does not like galvanized coating. I do remember a conversation. Hey, do you want me to do the new one also? No, it'll be fine. And then I said, yeah, yeah, get that galvanized off. No, but I, you didn't. After move, you so. started welding. All right. All right. Slide her down in there. Can you get, can you make her fit? I guess we're gonna have to lay it next to that old one. Let's scratch the paint. So the ideal scenario is going to be to come up center of this gap right here, right? Yeah. Well, I'm stuck a camera right in your face so everybody can see. What are you thinking? Well, what I'm looking at is that I can't see that crook that you're talking about. Uh, you're about, you're right at it. Huh. In you? theory though, I need to be like right there to clear. Well, let's go ahead and mark it right there and maybe we can get that angle mark on the table. Mm -hmm. We'll have to cut that pipe at that angle. I like that. Um, can you get in there to mark it? Here, open your bite are down you, these gloves. Are so you I can serious pull them off. right now? Here, well, let's do this way. I no. got pinchers. I was gonna say some people use their teeth to pull gloves off. Never clean. There ain't nothing on them. I'm gonna okay. try to get this camera out your way so you can't see you guys blocking. Yep. Oh man, right there maybe. That's are pretty close. Okay, can you see the mark right there? Yeah, I think so. And that is, that is as far out as we can keep you that to keep stay it out of this. Out of that? Yeah. We may have to go, honestly, the farther we are that way, is probably the better because it gets our angle coming this way. I know. That's, that's what I would like to do. I would like to go ahead and take it back you, like I, that. Uh, yeah, right there. That's where it needs to be. It's right there, right? Yep. I think at this point it kind of is what it is. Okay, I got more care. I All like right. it. Now we gotta figure out how to get that pipe out of there. Yep. You think all this stuff's gonna bust loose easy? Always does. Yep, so far so good. Oh, good. If I keep from dropping the nuts down in there. Yep. 
Well, two for two, you got one more to go. So I'll give this to you or we're gonna lose it. Let's slide it up on there, that'll work. All right, last one, here we go. Like the top, yeah. The, top, uh, the top's a different size. Huh. Oh, oh boy. Oh, did you see that catch? Yeah. Nah, how you Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Man, you got lucky there. <laughs> Here, go, go fish. <laughs> now, the question is can we get that flex pipe out of that? Good boy. We might be taking it loose up here. All right, ended up taking it loose up here on the turbo. I think we can get that flex pipe off there, but it's gonna be a little more difficult. In the truck, we're gonna try to get it out. I think this is gonna require teamwork to get out of here. Yeah. Uh, start pulling it back slow. Okay, you're looking good. Yeah, looking good. Keep going. Can you lift up at all? There you go. You got it? Yep. It's a good thing we raised the bed up. Yeah. That is way longer than I thought it was. Yeah. It is. You're not right. Johnny poking it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, behind the scenes, this is what I got in mind for this big old noodle. Yeah. Look, it's probably a good thing we're replacing. It looks like it's getting pretty thin right there. In there but the rest yeah. of it don't look horrible. No. But if we roll it up on the side, I think we need to mark the top of it so we can keep it clocked. Yep. Then we need to figure out what this angle is because right here is where we need to cut it at, right? Yeah, that's, there's the first mark I made. There's the second there's mark. There's the second mark. So if we know the top, we know the angle, we should be able to put that back pretty close. Yep. In theory? In theory, All yes. All right, let us uh, do some cleaning and some marking. We'll show you what we got. All right, so we got us a line. My line's a slightly off center because my marker tip's too fat. <laughs> <laughs> so we drew a line straight on this. We drew a line straight on that, clocked it. We're about at eight degrees is about where we're at, is what that kink is. And that is our mark where we actually need to cut. This is just a reference mark, which where the angle needs to go. I guess set that up in the saw, yep. cut it at eight degrees, and then we'll fit that elbow up on there. Let's see if we can get this thing wiggled back up in there. What do you think, go ahead and weld that out? I think so. I mean, we, we got a little bit of adjustment in the flex pipe. And we got a little bit, and then we got such length right here. We'll have some adjustment. Yeah. Um, in worst case scenario, we just got to get this loose. If we're off a quarter of an inch, I think we can turn it in here. Okay. Does that make sense? It makes sense. What's the verdict? I got it right where it needs to be. Right on the line. Plum. Was plumb, I don't know where the plumb went. Level, torpedo level. Yep, we got uh, got our angle set, eight degrees. All right, flip switch, let's do it. Here we go. This is called commitment. If it's wrong, I know a welder. <laughs> It, uh, it cuts this thin pipe a whole lot faster to cut that thick, uh... Maybe it's square tubing. I guess it's getting like it's square tubing, it's called stack material. Stack material? Yeah. There's a chance I may kill you before this job's over. 
He had my gloves on. I said, what do you got my gloves on for? Oh, oh, he goes, oh, oh, I grabbed the wrong ones. And I stick my hand in there and it's full of grease. It's just soot. It's black soot out of pipes. Yeah, but my hands, I kept my hands clean. Well, I'm glad you kept your hands clean. All right. How's our fit up look? Oh, that is nice. That looks really good. I'll tell you what, your fit up guy. Hey, you know what you do with that torpedo level and yeah. the hat sitting on that? It's right there. Yeah, right there. Been we, looking for it. We've possibly minutes. been looking for that for a while. <laughs> All right, you ready to tack this thing off? When did you get you one of these nice fancy stools? That is my nice fancy stool. No, it ain't. That was bought for me. Where do you want me to tack it first? Um, so. Got a little piece of weld on it. You might want to do something with it in the truck. Uh, you are a plug right there. Like it? It's off just a little bit. I don't know if you can, the whole thing can come this way. Like that. It's getting closer. Yep, tight. All right, I'm off. Oh, you know what? Let you think in the ground for that flex point. You gotta put it up on the end of this, ain't you? Yep. Scared that's gonna to be too heavy for you to hold up. Oh, Nancy. Okay, where's gonna be the best place? Can I put it right here? No. Hey. Like it? Yep. Still like it. All right. Still looks pretty good. Got a little bit of a gap over here on this side, but it ain't bad. Well, that's good. The build up. Oh yeah. Then you're bad. Okay. All right, we got our tacked on there. Gonna let Aaron get it welded out. I guess we'll slide it back in the truck and see what it looks like. <laughs> you can snack break on me? <laughs> yeah. You got some explaining to do, and it's like 15, I got some snacks to eat. 15 minutes till lunchtime. <laughs> No, I bought these this morning. I did. I forgot to open them. So, you want one? <laughs> no. So, all right. The uh, that looks way better than what was originally yeah. on the truck. That was a cobble job, right there. I wish there. we still had that old piece of that weld that was on that. <laughs> you know what else looks a lot better? We the actually windows. cleaned the windows in the shop. Yeah. Check this out, side. Check you this made out. You attempt to clean them, and I clean them. So now, whenever I show you guys outside, look at that. You can actually see outside. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a cool little feature? Okay. Right. What, uh, we want to slide that thing? One more donut, yeah. Slide that thing back up in there and then we'll see. Sure you don't want one? I'm sure. Okay. We'll figure out where it needs to be. Man, I hope that's good. Me I hope you. I marked that right. I hope you welded it right. Let's find out. All right, you ready to do some right. exhaust pipe fishing? Yes, I am waiting on you. I'm sure this is going to go. I pulled it out, you put it in. This is going to go surprisingly well. I'll hold that 90 back right. here. Now, I'm going to regret saying this, but can you hold the end of it to get it started? Here, I got this end. Oh, you got that end? Yeah. You're not tall enough for that end. You better go this way. You see, you can't reach. Now. This first gonna get tricky. You, keep the end you of shouldn't it. have messed with that if flex keep, pipe. If you keep the end of it stiff, it helps. I'm sorry, it's floppy. Yeah. Let me get over this way, I think. There we go. You ready? Uh, now, you're gonna have to wiggle it, and you, I think you'll be able to get it. You see it? Kind of sort of here. Let me go see if I can get my long arm up in the front. Yes. 
got the back. I have like a pry bar or something where I can reach in there and guide you. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. That should happen. Hold on. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Hold on. Oh, oh I got to turn. Uh, 90 degrees. Uh, can you come like six inches more first? That may be a problem. Can you go, then go, then go back up just a little bit, then do it. All right, never mind, do it. Turn it. Yeah. How far are you going? Okay. Okay, so I am in that. Okay, now can you turn it? Yeah. Okay. You turn the way you need to be? Yeah. Okay, come on in. All right, hold it. All right, come on. All right, come on. All right, come on. Should be getting close, shouldn't you? Yeah, like throw it right in there. That, that's it. I just made contact. All right, we uh, man, I tell you what, we ended up pretty doggone close to where we said we were going to. We yeah. may be a touch closer to the cab, but, closer, we ain't, but we ain't bad. No, uh uh. All right, so what do you think? One piece at a time here? 45 there. So yeah. 45 will go on here. What we're thinking is we'll put a, I don't know, horseshoe clamp on that and then incorporate it into a bracket to hold that yep. put, right? Yep. So the million dollar question is can we get from here to there? To there. Uh, let me jump up there on top. And we'll see what, see what happens. All right, man, behind the scenes, we're getting closer. So, I got the elbow on down below. This 45 needs to go in this region here. And that should get us a piece of flex pipe in between, right? Yep. Oh. And I can go up. I gotta be up about right there anyways. Well, here's the other thing we can do. If we put that Piece of pipe, can you twist towards me a little bit? Yeah, that's about oh, all. Wait. You said towards oh, you. Oh, sorry. Away from the truck, away from you. Yeah, let's go right there. Now, we get down here and show what we need. So, right like that would be perfect. I think what we need to do is, is tack a piece of pipe on here, mm -hmm. which that means we can clamp it here, clamp it here, clamp it here, so this whole thing can come apart to be yep. worked on. I agree. All right, so what measurement do you think that is right there? You need take measure, don't you? Yeah, I'll be taking it. All right, we get a take measure. Say about four inch piece. I'm gonna go with six. Oh, I'm gonna that Five and a half, we're both wrong. That didn't yep. move, did it? Okay, you're dropped back down again. Uh, go, and go down helps me a little bit, actually. Okay, you're right there. You're clearing it right there. Let's go five and a half. If we don't like it, we can always cut a little bit more off. Okay. Five and a half it is, folks. All right, we had to take a little break in the action. We went into uh, saw cleanup mode. Did you know this thing actually had a base underneath it? No, I didn't. <laughs> I did not know. I think we got five gallons of shavings off that thing. Yeah. Poor Saul. All right, so we got a four and a five inch nipple cut. The four inch nipple, we're gonna weld right here on the 45 as an extension. All right, I'm doing this one handed, but I think you're pretty close. Eyeballs. Eyeballs. Got your gas on? Uh, you're a little fatter on the bottom there, bud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. All right, maybe I should put the camera down and help you. Mm. Bummer. Uh, I do that. I 
think it may have smashed a little bit in that vise. So what I'm thinking is I'll have to get a tack on it. Get three tacks on it, I was thinking to tap it in. Um, I got to get it. Two tacks. Yeah, or uh, uh, split the difference right there, tag it on top. Okay, eyeball. Yep. Now I'll tack it right there. Okay. And then I can pull this out over here, I think. Ready? Yep. Eyeball. And you're a little off on the bottom, but it ain't bad. Okay. All right, so here's getting that one welded out. We also marked the center of our stack up there. So as soon as he gets done with that, we're gonna tack this little guy on the bottom and then uh, see if we can get the two ends connected. Fingers crossed, folks. Fingers crossed. You uh, ready, sir? So you just... I hear a problem. What do you, what do you hear a problem? <laughs> I think we forgot to turn the welder on. Huh? Forgot to turn the welder on. Oh, shoot. Here, I'll get My arm's not long enough. All right, you ready? I'm ready. That's your center line? Yeah, that's the center line. I can't quite see how... On the back? Yeah. You can go back a little bit. Right there, you're about even. Okay, tag it. Uh, well, are you gonna hold it up tight? Yeah, I'm trying. Okay. Hey, you're burning me up. Uh, That's what I want to do. Yeah, one more over there and then... Yep. Let's see if she fits. Yep. All right, I guess let's play a game of puzzle. Mm, I hope this works. What is this? Well, can you slide that down there as far as you can? Oh, yeah. Oh, can slide that down over there. Oh, boy. That may be a problem there. Okay, so let me go. What if I go here first? Man, behind the scenes, I don't care what Matt Kirsch says. I can yeah, keep he, didn't, right. he didn't curse us this time. That, uh, you might just be a pipe fitter after all. Yeah. <laughs> that looks, that's gonna look exceptionally well. Yes. That is so much cleaner and nicer than yes. what it was before. We got, uh, we gotta make sure we keep our clearance here between the cab. We just kinda gotta lay it in there. You guys can see it's up against the cab there a little bit. But I think the next thing we need to do is we need to be able to bracket to hold this right here stationary. Mm -hmm. You know what you think? I believe so. Because um, before it was just flopping around, it wasn't right. If we hold that good, that'll keep it from ever getting into the cab and uh, should keep us from having any vibrating noises or anything like that. But man, that looks so much better. Aren't you glad you listened to me? It's the other way around, but yes. <laughs> All right, man, behind the scenes, I got some puzzle pieces. I gift you partial muffler clamp. Yep. I gift you a strap that matches partial muffler clamps. I build you a repurposed water slide bracket. Yep. It's gonna go, I'm thinking that'll go right there like so. Yep. Isn't that pretty? You know and what then, you didn't do? And this, you didn't clean up where this is gonna go, because you Why know. Why would you want to put that on first? And this goes on here like no, so. No, don't. God does. No, don't. God does. Why are you putting that on there? Because I'm just seeing how it works. Look, it fits. See, I just go first. I don't know, but I'm confirming the fit. Oh, did it fit? It did. Okay. I drilled it. Did you did, did you oh, expect well, anything else? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so then technically this goes on first. Yes. Well, don't worry, I'll do all this while I hold the camera for yep. you. You're doing a good job. 
Then I'll hand you that other one that you'll put on next. Are you serious? <laughs> There's that. There's that. And I'll hand you that. There's that. There's that. And then that. Do we want to go ahead and tighten that down? I think go ahead and tighten that down. It'll help. Look, I even got the nuts right here. Aren't you proud of me? Yep. All right. Yeah, let me get you an impact. Way. We'll tighten that down. That's teamwork, right? Yeah, I don't know why we're crossed <laughs> up. But <laughs> Whatever works. All right. All right. Right behind the scenes, that looks pretty sharp. We got us a yes, little shim block in there. We got good clearance everywhere. Got a bracket on there. Yes, sir. You like your top where it's at. I'd like you to tack on this bottom first. Yeah, go ahead. All right, eyeballs. I'm impressed you remember to hook the ground up. I remember to hook the ground up. No, I didn't hook the ground up. You did. But did you know I? What I forgot to do turn that welder back up. <laughs> That'd be well, right. well, look at that. We got an extra shop assistant yes, in here. We do. Yeah. Uh, go from six to, we want six to eight. Duh. It's on six now. Yep, go down to eight. All right, we like it. Aaron is submitting the welder out. Oh, we purposely put this so we get the impact in there. Yeah, you can. You're right there. Can't see. Need help? Oh. oh, that's looking good. Let me get that block of wood out before we lose it. That ain't going nowhere. Look at that. Everything's out. That is nice. That is very nice. All right, man, behind the scenes. Backside's all hooked up. When we get this front side hooked back up, I think we are golden on this thing. Yep, I got my side, now you got right. my side. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair, your side was the easy side. All right, let's get this done. Well, man, behind the scenes, I don't know how we managed to spend an entire day rounding exhaust pipe and make a whole video about it. <laughs> but somehow we pulled it off. It's uh, now that our windows are clean, you can see it's it's it, almost dark it's outside. Almost dark. We do have an update though. Yeah, we do have an update. Truck Pipes USA has emailed me back, apologized they didn't save my pipe, and supposedly they're refunding me. So we'll let it go at that. I hope they do. I hope they do too. So we end up uh, we end up making it work. And I am, man, I am tickled to death with the way that turned out. I know we spent a lot of extra time on yeah. it and a few gray hairs involved and Aaron wanted to start the truck and I had to remind him we don't have the hole cut in the bottom of the stacks yet. So You know, you could have let it go, so yeah, fired up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't that, know if it was. So, we got everything right now. No, it is tight tight. Man, I wish uh, I should have took a picture of what it looked like before we started because yeah. that is so much better. Yes, it is. So much better. So, all right, guys, unfortunately, we're going to have to call it a day on this one. I got a few errands I need to run, and uh, well, it's getting late in the afternoon. Tomorrow, the plan is we got to build our dirt deflector or our dirt shed, we keep calling it. And like everything else on this project, it's just not going to be as simple as we thought it was going to be. No, no, it ain't. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, I consider doing that so you can see what, uh, what we come up with tomorrow. So tell them bye. All right, y'all have a good one. See ya.